Grand Unified Theory A Grand Unified Theory, GUT, is a model in particle physics in which, at high energies, the three-gauge interactions of the standard model comprising the electromagnetic weak and strong forces are merged into a single force. Although this unified force has not been directly observed, the many GUT models theorize its existence. If unification of these three interactions is possible, it raises the possibility that there was a grand unification epoch in the very early universe in which these three fundamental interactions were not yet distinct. Experiments have confirmed that at high energy the electromagnetic interaction and weak interaction unify into a single electroweak interaction. GUT models predict that at even higher energy, the strong interaction and the electroweak interaction will unify into a single electronuclear interaction. This interaction is characterized by one larger gauge symmetry and thus several force carriers, but one unified coupling constant. Unifying gravity with the electronuclear interaction would provide a more comprehensive theory of everything TOE rather than a grand unified theory. Thus, GUT are often seen as an intermediate step towards a TOE. The novel particles predicted by GUT models are expected to have extremely high masses around the GUT scale of scale of 10, 16, backslash display style 10, 16, GV just a few orders of magnitude below the Planck scale of 10, 19, backslash display style 10, 19, GV and so are well beyond the reach of any foreseen particle collider experiments. Therefore, the particles predicted by GUT models will be unable to be observed directly, and instead the effects of grand unification might be detected through indirect observations such as proton decay, electric dipole moments of elementary particles, or the properties of neutrinos. Some GUT, such as the Patty Salam model, predict the existence of magnetic monopoles. While GUT might be expected to offer simplicity over the complications present in the standard model, realistic models remain complicated because they need to introduce additional fields and interactions, or even additional dimensions of space, in order to reproduce observed fermion masses and mixing angles. This difficulty, in turn, may be related to an existence of family symmetries beyond the conventional GUT models. Due to this and the lack of any observed effect of grand unification so far, there is no generally accepted GUT model. Models that do not unify the three interactions using one simple group as the gauge symmetry, but do so using semisimple groups, can exhibit similar properties and are sometimes referred to as grand unified theories as well. History Historically, the first true GUT, which was based on the simple Lie group SU5, was proposed by Howard Georgi and Sheldon Glashow in 1974. The Georgi Glashow model was preceded by the semisimple Lie Algebra Patti Salam model by Abdus Salam and Jojish Patti, who pioneered the idea to unify gauge interactions. The acronym GUT was first coined in 1978 by CERN researchers John Ellis and Azej Buras, Mary K. Gaylard, and Dimitri Nanopoulos, however in the final version of their paper they opted for the less anatomical GUM grand unification mass. Nanopoulos later that year was the first to use the acronym in a paper. Motivation the supposition that the electric charges of electrons and protons seem to cancel each other exactly to extreme precision is essential for the existence of the macroscopic world as we know it, but this important property of elementary particles is not explained in the standard model of particle physics. While the description of strong and weak interactions within the standard model is based on gauge symmetries governed by the simple symmetry groups S a3 and S a12, which allow only discrete charges, the remaining component, the weak hypercharge interaction, is described by an Abelian symmetry U on, which in principle allows for arbitrary charge assignments. The observed charge quantization, namely the postulation that all known elementary particles carry electric charges, which are exact multiples of one third of the elementary charge, 
has led to the idea that hypercharge interactions and possibly the strong and weak interactions might be embedded in one grand unified interaction described by a single, larger simple symmetry. This would automatically predict the quantized nature and values of all elementary particle charges. Since this also results in a prediction for the relative strengths of the fundamental interactions which we observe, in particular the weak mixing angle, grand unification ideally reduces the number of independent input parameters, but is also constrained by observations. Grand unification is reminiscent of the unification of electric and magnetic forces by Maxwell's theory of electromagnetism in the 19th century, but its physical implications and mathematical structure are qualitatively different. Unification of matter particles S. Ufiv S. Oten Essex In some forms of string theory, including eix ei heterotic string theory, the resultant four-dimensional theory after spontaneous compactification on a six-dimensional calibi yau manifold resembles a GUT based on the group Essex. Notably, Essex is the only exceptional simple Lie group to have any complex representations, a requirement for a theory to contain chiral fermions, namely all weakly interacting fermions. Hence, the other four G2, F4, S7, and EI can't be the gauge group of a GUT. Extended Grand Unified Theories Non-chiral extensions of the standard model with vector-like split multiplet particle spectra, which naturally appear in the higher SUNGUT, considerably modify the desert physics and lead to the realistic strings. On the other hand, due to a new missing VEV mechanism emerging in the supersymmetric SUNGUT, the simultaneous solution to the gauge hierarchy doublet-triplet splitting problem and problem of unification of flavor can be a uh, ah, GUT, with four families slash generations, SU8, assuming four generations of fermions instead of three makes a total of 64 types of particles. These can be put into 64 equals 8 plus 56 representations of SU8. This can be divided into SU5 X S of 3 F X U own, which is the SU5 theory together with some heavy bosses, which act on the generation number. GUT, with four families slash generations, A16. Again, assuming four generations of fermions, the 128 particles and antiparticles can be put into a single spinner representation of A16. Symplectic groups and quaternion representations, octonian representations, beyond Lie groups. Other structures have been suggested, including Lie 3 algebras and Lie superalgebras. Neither of these fit with Yang-Mills theory. In particular, Lie superalgebras would introduce bosons with the wrong statistics. Supersymmetry, however, does fit with Yang-Mills. Unification of forces and the role of supersymmetry. Neutrino masses. Since Majorana masses of the right-handed neutrino are forbidden by s symmetry, s and GUT predict the Majorana masses of right-handed neutrinos to be close to the GUT scale where the symmetry is spontaneously broken in those models. In supersymmetric GUT, this scale tends to be larger than would be desirable to obtain realistic masses of the light. Mostly left-handed neutrinos see neutrino oscillation via the seesaw mechanism. These predictions are independent of the georgi jarlskog mass relations, wherein some GUT predict other fermion mass ratios. Proposed theories Several theories have been proposed, but none is currently universally accepted. An even more ambitious theory that includes all fundamental forces, including gravitation, is termed a theory of everything. Some common mainstream GUT models are not quite GUT. Note, these models refer to Lie algebras, not to Lie groups. The Lie group could be SU for XS atwo XS atwo slash C2, just to take a random example. The most promising candidate is S. Oten. Minimal, well, S. Oten does not contain any exotic fermions, i.e., additional fermions besides the standard model fermions and the right handed neutrino and it unifies each generation into a single irreducible representation. 
A number of other GUT models are based upon subgroups of SO2. They are the minimal left-right model, SUFIV, flipped SUFIV, and the Patty Salam model. The GUT group Essex contains SOTIN, but models based upon it are significantly more complicated. The primary reason for studying Essex models comes from EIT XEIT heterotic string theory. GUT models generically predict the existence of topological defects such as monopoles, cosmic strings, domain walls, and others, but none have been observed. Their absence is known as the monopole problem in cosmology. Many GUT models also predict proton decay, although not the Patty Salam model. Proton decay has never been observed by experiments. The minimal experimental limit on the proton's lifetime pretty much rules out minimal SUFIV and heavily constrains the other models. The lack of detected supersymmetry to date also constrains many models. Proton decay. These graphics refer to the X bosons and Higgs bosons. Some GUT theories like SUFIV and SOTIN suffer from what is called the doublet triplet problem. These theories predict that for each electroweak Higgs doublet, there is a corresponding colored Higgs triplet field with a very small mass, many orders of magnitude smaller than the GUT scale here. In theory, unifying quarks with leptons the Higgs doublet would also be unified with a Higgs triplet. Such triplets have not been observed. They would also cause extremely rapid proton decay far below current experimental limits and prevent the gauge coupling strengths from running together in the renormalization group. Most GUT models require a threefold replication of the matter fields. As such, they do not explain why there are three generations of fermions. Most GUT models also fail to explain the little hierarchy between the fermion masses for different generations. Ingredients cis. A GUT model consists of a gauge group, which is a compact Lie group, a connection form for that Lie group. The Lie group contains the standard model group, and the Higgs fields acquire VEV leading to a spontaneous symmetry breaking to the standard model. The whale fermions represent matter. Current status. There is currently no hard evidence that nature is described by a grand unified theory. The discovery of neutrino oscillations indicates that the standard model is incomplete and has led to renewed interest toward certain GUT such as SOTIN. One of the few possible experimental tests of certain GUT is proton decay and also fermion masses. There are a few more special tests for supersymmetric GUT. However, minimum proton lifetimes from research at or exceeding the 1034 minus 1035 year range have ruled out simpler GUT and most non SUSI models. The maximum upper limit on proton lifetime, if unstable, is calculated at 6x 1039 years for SUSI models and 1.4x 1036 years for minimal non SUSI GUT. The gauge coupling strengths of QCD. The weak interaction and hypercharge seem to meet at a common length scale called the GUT scale and equal approximately to 1016 GV, slightly less than the Planck energy of 1019 GV, which is somewhat suggestive. This interesting numerical observation is called the gauge coupling unification, and it works particularly well if one assumes the existence of superpartners of the standard model particles. Still, it is possible to achieve the same by postulating, for instance, that ordinary non-supersymmetric SOTIN models break with an intermediate gauge scale, such as the one of Patty Salam group. Ultra unification. In 2020, a proposed theory called ultra unification would combine the standard model and grand unification, particularly for the models with 15 whale fermions per generation without the necessity of right-handed sterile neutrinos by adding new gapped topological phase sectors consistent with the non-perturbative global anomaly cancellation and cobordism constraints especially from the baryonman. The gapped topological phase sectors are constructed via symmetry extension, whose low energy contains unitary Lorentz invariant topological quantum field theories TQFTs, such as four-dimensional non-invertible, five-dimensional non-invertible or five-dimensional invertible entangled gapped phase TQFTs. 
Alternatively, there could also be right-handed sterile neutrinos, gapless unparticle physics, or some combination of more general interacting conformal field theories to cancel the mixed-gauge gravitational anomaly. In either case, this implies a new high-energy physics frontier beyond the conventional zero-dimensional particle physics that relies on new types of topological forces and matter, including gapped extended objects such as line and surface operators or conformal defects whose open ends carry to confined fractionalized particle or anionic stress. A physical characterization of these gapped extended objects require extensions of mathematical concepts such as cohomology, cohomorphism, or categories into particle physics.